Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. We are going to go hunt some ungulates today. As soon as we try to get this pack affinity bar just a little bit higher. Just to make sure that we actually have time to go out. We need to mark quite a bit of territory. Like, pretty much all the left side. It's not weak, but it's not as high as I would like it. Let's go ahead and get y'all in the den. I'm guessing the den. Yeah, we're already at 25%. I will not be leaving at the usual, like, 20, 25, 30. Heck to the no. And all of those guys have moved away. We haven't had any more issues. Oh, look at them running in. Okay, you can actually go in. I guess the first wolf, um, the first wolf is like, uh, to draw attention. I know some of you guys commented saying that if you wolf and everything, then you can like alert your mate, I guess, and your, and your pups and stuff and kind of like draw them to you. So the first one I saw, they kind of ran to the den, but they didn't try to go in. And then the second one, they were like, okay, this is serious. We need to go in. What is she doing? I f she's peeing so much. I oh, Should I take her? Should I take her? I guess I'll take her. If she wants to go. She does. Alright. Let's see where we're going. We need to go to that one hex. All the way down this way. All the way down. Oh, that stream looks so much better now. It was all muddy and stuff just the night before. Make sure she's on. Yeah, she's she's with us. <laughs> and we need to look for any scents. I always forget about checking scents before I head out. It's it's quite good to do in case you like you need to look around and see where exactly you want to head, especially if you have like scents for, of like the stranger pack wolves coming at you. That's what I always try to watch out for. Luckily, we haven't had any issues with Coyote Creek or anything. Or any wolves. Ever since we killed off Starling. Maybe word got around. Coyote Creek like spread it to Geo and be like, Hey man, <laughs> she kills. She kills wolves. <laughs> but then again, the Coyote Creek also killed wolves because they killed my pup. Pups. Squirrel and bones. I will never let that go. Maybe I'll go invade one of their hexes. <laughs> I need to like head up a little bit. I always start sliding down these dang mountains, man. I'm almost there. Don't make me slide. Okay. We're gonna leave a little... ...marking right here on the side of a freaking mountain. Okay, and then now we need to head... ...basically that way. <laughs> She just, like, spawned in. Okay, I think I'm heading the right way. And we're actually heading into the wind, which is good. Because we might actually end up doing a little hunting. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll try to find some ungulates instead to take back while we're going. Even- I don't- I don't think the pups can eat it yet. They're not big enough. But they will very soon be big enough. How big are they? Yeah, they're just about 13 pounds now. Not very big at all. Pretty soon we'll be heading to the rendezvous point. Thank gosh. Actually, I say that because I'm excited for what comes, you know, after what used to be endless summer. Um, but I'm also nervous because that means we no longer have a den. And the pups, oh my gosh, it's just going to be so much more stressful. I'm not ready for that yet. I really am not. I am, but I'm not. Coyote sense. I hate coyotes. Or is that fox? Nope, coyote. Freaking hate coyotes. Always had an issue with them. Or should I say they've had an issue with me? Okay, that's the ungulate music. 
I do believe I could be incorrect. Hey, there's our old den. <laughs> but we're still trying to mark a lot of territory. I'm not going to bother with it just yet. Because we still have a lot of territory to mark. I wonder if we'll find any old scents. No. I kind of wish I could go back to that den because I hate the one I'm at. I really do. And pretty soon we're going to be leaving. And whenever we do, I'm going to wait. Honestly, we probably won't even leave. I, I really don't want to move dens again. I do because, you know, I, I hate the flea load getting too high. But at the same time, I do not want to have any issues. Yeah, there's the ungulate music. Is that the, that's the ungulate music if I'm not incorrect. What is this, a pronghorn? I do believe. Is she gonna go after it? Yeah, it ran away. You know what? I think I actually see its baby here. Is that its baby? No, it's a fox. I was like, wait, it's not even in the grass. Why? I'm not gonna bother with this one just right now. Because we're still far out and we still have a lot of territory to mark. But, yeah, I, I hate the flea load getting too high. Not even because I ever have an issue with, like, itching or anything. Because I really never notice it. Because I don't let it get too high, probably. But, I don't know, I just, I really hate it so much. I hate the idea of my poor little pups living in, like, a flea-infested den. I hate it. There's another pronghorn. So many pronghorn in this area. So many pronghorn like mothers with their ungulates. But at the same time, I don't want to I don't want to move dens because if I move dens, then we might get attacked again or move to a way worse one. It's such a shame though cuz I was going to a den that's on the very edge of the actual park territory. Is this another one? No, that's a that's a whole herd of them. And we might actually take that down. Kind of go in, get a bite. I think there's one beside us. I feel like I hear one beside us. I could be wrong though. We'll never catch him now. You can only catch him, well, I can only catch him if uh, you have that surprise attack. This one is quite slow compared to the others though. And we are pretty much keeping pace. That's not bad. We might actually go in for the bite. Wow, that's cool. This one is slow because it's very, very wounded. That's why. We were keeping pace quite well even with the herd, though. Look, there they are. <laughs> They're just abandoning their poor buddy. That actually turned out really stinking good. I'm betting that one's incredibly wounded, too. I could hear that one that was beside us. But it was it was so slow. It, it did not catch up whatsoever. We're going to go after that one next, if I can find it again. Because this has fed us, but it's now almost completely empty. Yeah, it is, it is empty. Okay. It doubled back this way. It tried to trick me. And it did a very good job of it. Okay. We'll just let them run a minute. Hold on. Where'd that one go? I feel like one just split off from the others. Alright. Now we're in another Pax territory. We're not going to mess around with that anymore. We're well fed. We have enough food to bring back to the pups. So that's good. Especially being that they're still well fed. So I do wonder though, I think it's been mentioned maybe in one of the, the, what do you call it? The dev blogs, but I'm not exactly sure. But do other packs get notified when I enter their territory then? Do they have like, <laughs> well, obviously, you know, they don't literally have a little hex or anything pop up. But essentially, yeah, I mean, do they have like a little hex and everything pop up that uh that we're invading and then that they like run over or is it just how it always is and you like just shouldn't howl and stuff 
and just watch out for any packs that might be patrolling in the area, and especially if your scent is like wafting toward them. I don't know, I feel like it's been mentioned where they do, they are notified whenever you enter their territory to invade and everything. But I'm not sure. There's another ungulate near here. And I definitely want one right around now as I am marking a whole bunch and I can like start heading back to the... I can start heading back to our den. I didn't bother looking in that area particularly because I... It's really hard for me to find the ungulates in those areas where it's just so dense with the trees and the rocks and the bushes. I need to like go out into the, like, an open plain or something to find one. I haven't seen very many elk though, like at all. Okay. Nope. That's just mule deer. We're not interested in mule deer right now. No thank you. Freaking coyotes, man. I ought to just start killing them. Everyone I see, I should just kill. Okay, here we go. What is that? Elk? Is that elk? What is this? It's elk. Okay, thank gosh. Elk have the biggest ones. Oh my gosh, see? Okay, now we got a hex. Horrible timing. It's off that away. That could be so... Oh my gosh, that's like halfway across the map. I don't have time for that. But what happens if I don't do it? That's my question. What happens if I don't go? Are they gonna take the hex like completely over? Or I guess the only way to find out for sure... Is if we just don't go over there and like let them I guess and see what happens. Cause I'm not running all the way over to the edge of the freaking map to check. I've got my own stuff going on here. Kind of like gonna back away from this mother a minute. Let her continue grazing. Oh my gosh! Never mind. Is this the elk baby? Apparently. She didn't even hardly like react. I need to just... Yep, it's the elk calf. <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> I did not even see it there. I was like, it's not going to be this far. I was literally saying that. And then apparently it ended up being that far. That's cool. So now we'll just head on back to the den. Ooh. Rock. Head back to the den. Drop this off. I don't... I know I keep saying it, but I'm just- I'm so... I'm so confused. Oh, that's just a fox. On, like, how the ungulates are here yet. Because I'm used to, like, the ungulates coming pretty much as soon as, uh, the pups are ready to eat them. Or very, very close to it anyway. And so now, the ungulates have come, but it's like, it feels so soon. I think- I definitely think they changed that. Where they- the ungulates come a little earlier? Maybe? Or maybe I'm just late in the season? Did- did Snow have her pups late in the season for, for it than more, like, than is normal? Like, did she have it late? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't even, I don't think that's possible, but <laughs> game-wise, I don't think the, you can do that. All right. We have done well. We have marked. We have eaten. Me and Snow are full. We have an ungulate for the pups. Even if they can't eat it, we can eat it and then regurgitate that. And we still have wolves invading. I don't know how far they're gonna invade. Will I see like a hex dropping? I don't see one yet. 
I wish I could go confront them, but I really just can't. I'm getting tired. I need to go back to the den to drop this off and the pack affinity is dropping like really, really fast. So I guess we're just gonna see what happens if you don't go. I don't wanna start sliding. I hate it when I start sliding down mountains, which is silly because I chose a den that was like literally right next to a huge mountain. The biggest mountain, Hell Roaring Mountain, which is literally what this map is named for. And that's the den I chose. And then I'm like, I hate mountains. Huh, should have picked Slough Creek then. That map has like, it's still very hilly, but it's definitely not as bad. I can hear them. I can totally hear them. It, it's the hex. Yeah, I can see it dropping now. Those stinking wolves, I swear. I can also see my den. I'm so tempted. You cannot even imagine how tempted I am right now to actually go and kill those freaking wolves or at least get them off my territory. Can they eat that? Oh my gosh, they can eat it? Really? It feels too soon. It really does. I did not know that they could eat it this soon. That's so weird. Well, I mean, good for them. Good for them. Hopefully snow doesn't eat it. We can remain pretty well fed. And then before anything else, we're just going to get their affinity up a little bit. Come here and play with me. Oh, it's raining. Luckily, we haven't had any sick pups yet. I don't know if we actually will because usually, well, now I have to, you know, sick pups can die on on the settings. But, um, what do you call it? Yeah, y'all stay together. Why is everybody looking at me? But, um, I'm not even sure that's, like, gonna be necessary, like, game-wise. Because usually, like, the whole sick pups can die. That's to make sure you don't have too big of a litter. Because then it'll mess with the mechanics and everything. When the, you have, like, next year's pups. And then they grow up. And then it's, like, the next year's pups. And then now you have, like, two litters. All grown up. Some of them haven't dispersed. All everything's glitching. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, now we, we have got that as far as we can. We're gonna go ahead and go to sleep. Before we get attacked. And then now, because we have lost three pups already... We only have three, so we have a rel relatively, like, not small litter. I suppose, like, one or two pups would be considered small. I guess this is just, like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, four or five pups would be more normal, though. And then six or seven pups would be large. We we're on the small side. We're on the small side of the litter. Yep, they've took it, and then they've taken another one. My gosh. No, snow! That is not for you! so aggravating when they do that and then she's gonna regurgitate what was even the point then what was even the point of that we're gonna go ahead and get them in the den now It doesn't show that they're invading anymore. But they must have just recently taken that other one. And I don't know if... I don't know if they're going to... What, what you call it? If they're going to keep taking over territory until I go take some back. I have no idea. We're gonna, Oh my gosh. I hate how that glitches. So we've only got three little pups here. I think I'll go ahead and end this episode off here before it gets too long. Um, oh my gosh, she looks like she's lick or he, he, that's a, that's Sika. <laughs> Sorry, I usually play as a girl wolf. Um, he looked like he was licking it, that was so cute, or he was licking his, his leg, I have no idea. Either way, we have such cute pups. Alright guys, <laughs> I will see you guys on the next one.